Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dominique LeRae and today or in this video we are going to be trying my hand at my first DIY at home microbiology experiment. <laughs> So what I want to try is to see how well gelatin performs as agar, basically. So I'm mainly doing this experiment because my dog has some really stinky breath and I want to see if I can culture what is growing in her mouth. It's, it's really stinky, it's really bad. So we're gonna get started with making the agar and I'm gonna go in depth on showing you all the materials that I use and all the steps that I'm taking to do this little at home experiment. So stay tuned. Okay y'all, so as far as materials, I bought the following. Mini cuts with lids, beef broth, Q-tips, unflavored gelatin, and a Sharpie. Open it to the air and see what grows. So we got 17 cups of things that we just swabbed around the apartment. We're gonna see how they grow over the course of the next week or so. So stay tuned. So we're gonna leave this open for an hour and then we'll close it and I'll put them up in their little incubator. <laughs> okay, so we are here for our day four results. Let's see what we got. It's like a few of them, they are making this froth, at least that's what I call it, on the top. And I'm not sure why, at first I was thinking it was because the gelatin that I used to make the agar was um, melting because of where we put it at. But now, I'm not even too sure. I, it started with just one of them yesterday, but now six of them are doing it. Okay y'all, so we're here for day eight of our results. I'm just gonna show y'all the ones that kinda like really took off. So the first one was the HVAC. Um, it had like a lot of greenish, blackish colonies growing inside of it with a lot of like white fuzz if I was to describe it. The second one was Xbox controller, so I kind of just swabbed the part where like our hands will go the most. So it does have some turbidity, 
Um, I'm not sure if it's like bacteria or what, but this part is turbid and this part is clear. So this part didn't have any substantial growth to it. The next part was the doorknobs. So I swabbed the outside doorknob and it had basically the same thing as the HVAC. Um, what was different about this one is that it had growth like throughout the entire agar and i'm not sure if you can see it on this camera <laughs> but there's growth like just throughout the agar the next one was open air which this is the first one that we saw had like white mold the other ones had like the black green common mold but this one had white mold on it So I only kept the open air one open for 30 minutes, I think, and then I capped it. Did I have been on for two hours? Yeah, because you- Well, you know. quality control here <laughs> said I had the top open for two hours and not 30 minutes. <laughs> it has this like, um, like this straw colored growth on it. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm sure, like if I had to guess what the other ones, most of it is just like common household mold. And the last one I'll talk about is the toilet. So like what I did, I lifted up the toilet seat and swabbed under the rim. And this one, it has a lot of growth, like very, very, very distinct colonies. And it also had growth throughout the agar, which if you see this little, well, if you see this little white dot, <laughs> that is a colony inside of the agar. And you probably can't see the rest, but it's really interesting. Everything else kind of turned to broth <laughs> or this like, I don't know how to even describe it. It's just like froth. At first I thought it was just one of them that did this. And I was thinking that it was because of where I had the dishes incubating at, that it was just too hot for them. So I moved them to another location or I checked 48 hours later and then four of them did it. On day four of the experiment, it went up to six. <laughs> So towards the end of the experiment, 10 of them did this. So I don't know what went wrong or how to troubleshoot, troubleshoot the situation. Because <laughs> my success rate was 50% with using gelatin instead of just getting agar offline. It could have been no more than like 65 in that room that I had uh, maybe 67. But I expected the agar, well my, I expected my gelatin agar to do better than that. I was expecting more than just common household molds to grow, but I, I think it's literally only one container that I would say is bacteria. All the other containers look like just regular molds. So I think the salt content or the salinity was just too high for like other types of back, like actual bacteria and things like that to grow. That's it for our day eight check-in. I am about to dispose of these really quickly get them out of this apartment. Any last thoughts? No, it was pretty fun. It was something, it was interesting to watch. We need to get up out this apartment with all this mold. <laughs> yeah, this is a lot of mold. And I was trying to tell them that it's just common household mold, but it is a lot for the confined area that we live in. Okay y'all, so that's basically it for this video. Please comment down below if you'll be interested in like a sort of a DIY biology experiment series on my channel, because I, <laughs> I be doing a lot of these random lab experiments. There's a lot of stuff that can be done in the comfort of your home that is still safe, and you can still produce the same results that you would in a regular laboratory. For instance, in one of my courses in the past, I had to extract DNA from plants. Another one I had did plant chromatography. So it's like, it's a number of things that can be done. I had been wanting to do the microbiology experiment, mainly because I was curious 
how gelatin would perform. It didn't do that good <laughs> in my eyes. And I don't know if that was because of my error or if it was just the nature of the gelatin, if I didn't add enough gelatin, you know, things like that. So I would like to do this experiment again in the future so I can correct it and <laughs> try to figure out what went wrong. Yeah, because I still have a lot of the materials and I'm not gonna get rid of them and I'm literally only gonna use it again to do another agar experiment, so. Yeah, um, definitely comment down below if you would be interested in this series on my channel. And comment down below what you thought of this experiment in particular. It was just a little epiphany in my head that since I'm taking a microbiology course, I have this little YouTube channel going, I might as well record <laughs> me trying this little DIY experiment. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to keep up with my journey in medical laboratory science.